What's up, your boy Superman? It's actually like 6.50 at night time. Didn't do much today, so didn't record much today. I'm at Japanese co-op, and I thought I would kind of show that off a little bit today. I just think some of the food looks great. I mean, let's check it out. I mean, if you're a big sushi lover, five bucks. You come home from work late at night, you're feeling kind of crappy, you can grab like this and not worry about cooking and eat some and just enjoy, you know? Sushi is not your thing, and there's many other stuff. Other stuff, we got, this is like the fried section. If you love fried food, then this is the section for you. Fried chicken, super popular. You get like eight pieces, six pieces, just four. A lot of people love to get drunk here and grab one of these. It's only about three or four bucks. It's, I've had this before, it's pretty good. I had this like two years ago before I did the whole vegan thing. So that, and here, katsu, it's pork fried, which is really good too. What you wanna do is eat, you can eat it by itself with sauce is good, or you can actually put it into a sandwich. Sometimes they'll sell the sandwiches here. I don't see any, but still great. One of my personal favorites, I know a lot of people don't like liver, but I don't know why, but the way they make it here, it's really good. This is liver, spinach, little garlic sauce. It tastes great. I just eat this like at least once a week, like a few years back. So, you know. Okay, this is what? Four bucks for this whole thing. Look how big it is. It's huge. This is a full meal. Never have to cook again. Once past six o'clock, dollar off. Sometimes it goes half off, which is great. If you're not much of a meat eater, if you are like vegan like me or vegetarian or whatever, they do have other options. This is called edamame. These things are great, love them. Especially if you're a big drinker, eat these while you drink. These are awesome. I just love them no matter what. I don't actually drink. Your salads. Like kind of spaghetti meal, potato salad. Really good stuff. And affordable, $3. Okay, this is pretty much your salad section. Sandwiches. Japanese typically prefer sandwiches with no crust on the side. So if you're if you like it that way too, then you can get like egg salad sandwiches or tuna sandwiches with no crust or ham sandwiches, no crust. They do also make them with crust. So spaghetti, um, many different kinds of salads and vegetables and right here, this is like tofu hamburg. So if you're vegan, tofu hamburg. This is what I'll be eating tonight. If you haven't tried it yet, try their uh, pumpkin. Their pumpkin tastes great. It's, it's one of my favorite dishes. You go with rice and everything else. So there's plenty of vegan options, you know? veggies. This one right here is one of those types where you take home and you cook it yourself, which is really cool. This right here, completely meat free, veggies and noodles. This right here looks like it has meat in it. It's uh, more of a Korean dish, but still you can get Korean food here too. So yeah, you have options. You have vegan options and plenty of vegetables. These in particular is used for uh, French toast. Well, look how thick it is. It's like three slices of bread in one. So you get four, five, or six slices. Pay a little extra, they'll even go as far as cut the crust off for you. Look at that, no crust for sandwiches. I really wanted to show this section. This is like prepackaged everything. Again, one dollar. You can throw this with some rice, it's pretty good. Potatoes for going to lunch. Everything is super convenient. This is a crop too. Potatoes. Nikoman. This is more actually, uh, I think this is from China, but still, Nikoman's pretty good. You can get at any convenience store. Very good. This is pretty good. For me, it's a little salty, but I still like it. This is great. But a lot of pre-packaged food, no problem, gyoza. This right here, I recommend it. It's like a different type of gyoza. It's 
flat, the mochi version, it used to be my favorite. So, what's up? Let's check out that price. Look at that, two dollars. This whole bag. If you're feeling like you want some waffles, you need some already some waffles. This one looks like some kind of blueberry waffle, chocolate waffle. We got naan bread. I thought it was called naan, but okay. But this is from India. This is really good stuff. Love it. I'm going to, go to India one day. I'm telling you guys. Soups, in particular, this one's corn soup. So if you want corn soup every night, you can just pour it out. It's like a kernel of milk. It's actually pretty good. Honestly, there's so much more to show. I'm gonna show a little bit more, but maybe I'll make a part two. I don't know. Depends on how many views I get, whatever, how much you guys want to see it. But let me show you a little more. I'm showing right now, like, this is, I'm more geared towards the vegan audience, but I'm, I'm also showing, trying to show general stuff too. So you can get all your general milk and stuff like that, yogurt, uh, juices, tomato juice, anything you want. This recently just came, I think I already said it before, almond milk from America recently came two months ago. Um, different types of soy milk, banana right here. Uh, yeah, banana, vanilla, chocolate, coffee, soy milk. And they come in these huge jugs too. So, so if you're a vegan like me, it's, it's great. I know in America, Everyone loves their Lucky Charms, their Captain Crunch, cereals like that. But here it's very, very difficult to find. Like for me, like my favorite cereal was Cinnamon Toast Crunch. For me, that's like cereal crack. But you just can't find it here. Most of the cereals are pretty healthy. You got your granolas, oatmeal, cornflakes. Um, yeah, it's, that's really about it. Mostly granola. This is about as unhealthy as you get, these little chocolate covered wheat grainy things. That's, that's as unhealthy as it gets. Or maybe some frosted flakes. We don't have Lucky Charms. We don't have Captain Crunch. We don't have any type of sugary cereal food you can imagine or you'll see an American section at all. Well, that's it for the co-op part one. I might come back again, who knows. I'm in Kobe actually, so yeah. Why am I in Kobe? I'm in adventuring in Kobe. I've adventured around in Osaka and it gets kind of boring. So I'm like, okay, let me move on to a different city. There's Kobe, there's Kyoto, Hyogo, there's tons. So I even thought about flying out to Tokyo. That's it for this video. I will see you tomorrow. Peace, thumbs up, I'm out. Yeah.